stuff that has unfortunately been out of my control. But nonetheless, I have returned and we are going to be going straight into a deck. A deck that I've been playing for quite a while, a deck that I've really been enjoying. And that deck is going to be Trevenant EX. Now, Trevenant EX is a pretty decent grass type EX in my opinion, especially for the next part of the metagame for one once when Bandit Ring slash Ancient Origins comes out. So it's 180 HP, uh, 3 retreat cost grass EX. So for one grass, it does Dark Forest for 20, and the defending Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. It's okay, except, you know, there's Switch, there's Escape Rope, there's, you know, there's still Kelio with Rush in. So there's still stuff that, you know, does get in the way of that. But it's it's actually fairly decent, in my opinion. Even with a Muscle Band, it's doing 40. Hit for the Weakness, it's doing 80. So, you know, it has, you know, it can have its uses. And then for three colourless, Wood Blast does 50, and it does an extra 20 for each Grass Energy attached to Trevenant. So, say Trevenant has five Grass Energy, does 50 plus 100, that's 150, with a Muscle Band that's 170. So that's knocking out Rayquaza EX, it's knocking out Evil Tal EX, it's definitely knocking out Science with Toad EX. It's, you know, it has the capacity to start knocking out a lot of things. So... The problem that we have here is the energy acceleration. Because we are losing, we're potentially losing Verizian EX uh, to rotation, there are, you know, you have to think of some different ways to accelerate Trevenant. And the way that I've decided to do it is by using Sceptile. So I'm running a 4 2 4 line of Sceptile with Nurture and Heal. Once during your turn, before your attack, you may attach a Grass Energy card from your hand to one of your Pokémon. If you do, heal 30 damage from that Pokémon. So it actually has two uses. It heals damage, and it also accelerates. So you can get three, maybe four if, you, if we're lucky, and then we can just start loading up a load of our Trevenants with three, four, maybe five energy each to start wood blasting our way to victory. So the problem that I've been having with this deck with a couple of drafts as of late, is um, the fact that Pyro is a very, very messy matchup for me. So I was thinking of a couple of ways to count to sort of deal with this. I tried Bear Tick, it was good. I tried other Stage 1 Pokemon, and they were okay. But I wanted to have a little bit of fun and sort of incorporate sort of the idea of it's a grass deck, we'll use grass Pokemon. So the best one I could come up with was Yanmega. Now, Yanmega is a stage 1, 110 HP, free retreat cost, which is decent. One grass does windfall, shuffle your deck, in, your deck into your hand. My apologies, shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw 6 cards. So this is basically uh, Tornadus EX from, I think it's the Plasma one, the, the Plasma Tornadus that does that. And then for 3 colours, Surprise Strike does 50, and if this Pokemon was on the bench and became your active Pokemon this turn, this attack does 50 more damage. So for 3, we could be doing 100, plus a Muscle Band, that's 120, and that is just enough to knock out a Pyro. And because it actually has a different weakness, um, you can actually stick this up against quite a few Pokemon and you should be okay. Now, so that's the Pokemon lineup. So I'll just recap. 4 Trevenant EX, 4 2 4 line of Sceptile, and a 2 2 line of Yanmega. Now, on to the trainers. We'll start with the items. As always, we have 2 Energy Retrieval because I noticed that I was discarding a lot of energy to get resources I needed. So I decided to stick a couple here, and it's actually been working out really nicely. Uh, 1 Escape Rope for switching, 2 Professor's Letters for just getting energy into the hand, 2. Rare candy, if if uh, that's it. Uh, two rare candy because you know it's a stage two deck, so we have to run it. Uh, two switch, three trainers mail. Uh, is it three? Yeah, four ultra ball. What's my mistake? Four ultra ball, and three vs seeker. And then for the supporters, we are running nine supporters, and then plus the three vs seekers, that basically makes twelve. So we are playing one Lysander. Three Professor Birch's Observations. Two Professor Sycamore. Now, I a while ago said that I would never run both Professor... Or I may have said it or I may have not. But I said once that I would never run both Professors alongside each other. I have now decided to do so because it actually works out a lot better. The number of times where I have top decked um, a Sycamore in a different deck and have how good it felt. 
may it convince me to actually say, okay, let's put at least two, or at most, two Sycamore into this deck, and then see how it works. And it's been working out really well. Um, then we have three Shauna, as usual. And then for tools, just four Muscle Bounds, because doing extra damage is so crucial, especially in this meta game with stuff like Rayquaza EX and Seismitoad, and just everything everywhere. And then lastly, we are running just a nice, humble 10 Grass Energy. Now, there are other, there's another build that I might be doing, or I might not, and if I'm not, I'll tell you now. Just a little method that I've tried. You can try swapping out four Muscle Bounds for four Healing Scarves, um, you could also try trading um, a couple of uh, maybe a one-one line of Yan Mega for, or maybe, or even say a three you know, turning the two four two four line into a three one three line, cutting the Yan Mega line and adding herbal energy. So then you're continuously healing Trevenant while still building up um, energy for um, Wood Blast. It does mean that you do have to commit a little bit more energy to it. But if it means that you're surviving a little little longer, then that's extremely useful. So, that is the deck. And as always, we will take it to a game on Pokemon TCG Online. Um, so, I'll kind of bring you up to speed of what plans I have for the channel. Um, when I can... I will be doing a full set review of Bandit Ring. Um, just kind of going over everything in detail once again, because you guys have seen the first two parts. I'll probably sort of take those down and re-upload a full set review so then there's more detail in it and you guys will gain a better understanding. Um, I'm also probably going to be doing a few collab videos with a few of my friends who have, who have also got YouTube channels. And I've also got um, some questions for a QA and a video that I will be doing. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Anyway, I've let's stop talking for now and let's get straight into a game with Trevenant, Sceptile and Yanmega and we will see what the end result will be. As always, we're not expecting to pick up a win. If we lose, we lose. If we win, we win. The most important bit, guys, is that we have fun. Like, I have fun playing and I have fun making these videos for you guys and you, and you guys just have fun watching them. Uh, so, oh, there we go. So it's decided to behave itself. So we're going against Pokemon Master 601. And we have the advantage for some reason. So I'm guessing it's a Dragon, Dragonite sort of deck, I think. Um, so we won the toss, or they lost the toss, so we get to go first. And our opening hand is okay. It's not amazing. We start with a Yanma, um, and then we'll just have to bench... The Trico. Um, if we can get into it, if we can get a Trevenant as soon as we can, that would be great. Um, I mean, we've got the Trainer's Mail, the Lysander, but we've also got cards that can set us up during the next turn. And yeah, okay, so it's um, we're looking at a Plasma Thunderous Trevenant and a Heracross. So I think this this is just one of these Deck Wizard decks that have uh, sort of made it made its way into random play. So we're actually going to get the VS Seeker here because that will actually come in handy. Uh, so that's got a retreat cost of 3, 3 and 1. So we're actually going to pull out the Trevenant. Um, and then we are, yeah, we're just going to end the turn. There isn't a lot more we can do. So we will just have to see what our opponent can do. Um, I have a distinct feeling that we may be in it for the long game here. Um, to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised. It tends to be quite a long game. Whenever I play Trevenant or whenever someone else plays Trevenant EX, it just seems to be one of those games that lasts such a long time. Um, so, it's, at the moment, it's very hard to gauge what kind of a deck this is. Um, okay, so there's the Muscle Band going down and a Herbal Energy, which I think is an absolute waste. There's going to be the 40. So now my Yanma cannot retreat, and there's the Trevenant, and then we're going to throw down the Rare Candy, we are going to get ourselves a Sceptile, and we are also going to pull out the Lysander once more. Um, just, it, you know, it's just really an effort to prevent 
my opponent from doing stuff quickly. So if I can start doing some stuff now and disrupt him at the same time, then I feel that I can gain a good advantage over um, my opponent. So he's now put down a Dratini and an escape rope. Um, I have a distinct feeling that he's going to go into the Trevenant, so I'm going to go into my own, tre my own Trevenant. Um, yep, okay, so we made that call, so I'm pretty happy with that. So he's going to probably hit me for 40 and won't be able to troop, but that's okay. Just hopefully we can draw something. Ugh, we didn't draw anything. Oh, come on. Oh, this deck was working so well earlier today, and now it's just decided to not behave itself. Oh, thanks, life. Um, so I'm guessing with uh, the Tratini just sitting there. Okay, and then the hard ah the hard time going on the Heracross. Okay, so Trevor's going to take another forty. Oh, this is not good, guys. This is not good at all. Um, we're actually going to pull out. A, a, we're going to do a third Lysander in this game, and we're going to pull out the Dratini and just stop our opponent from poking at Trevenant constantly because you know that's not nice. Um, so with the Dratini, I think. Um, my opponent's probably using the either the Max Wing Dragonite or the Ancient Trait Dragonite. Cool, so we're gonna go nurture and heal, and we're actually just we're gonna accelerate and heal because we had taken a bit too much damage at the moment. And we're just gonna Dark Forest for 20. And um, you can see the Mega Heracross has come out. Um, so this is gonna be a very, very difficult um, this might actually be a very difficult game to win. Um, just because you can just see loading up that Mega Heracross ready to start blasting its way through absolutely everything. Um, and then, we're actually, I don't mind taking the first prize because um, I know that my opponent can just come back and retaliate with something. So, it will probably be the Mega Heracross. Yep. And if they can get that energy down, then we are pretty much hammered. Yep. Uh, two grass, one colours. Yep, that is enough. That is well and truly enough to do 180. And down goes Trevenant EX. Goodness me. Um, so he's going to take two for that. And I'm going to have to put out my Yanma. And uh, we're going to need something. Um, this is not looking good, guys. This is not looking good. I think that... Luck has decided to play in my opponent's favour today, which, you know, is to be expected. These things happen. It's not going to, you know, it's not always plain, oh, yeah, it's not going to be plain sailing all the time. So Heracross is going to take care of Sceptile and take another prize for that. And then Yanma is going to come up and just be like, oh, no, don't kill me, please. Um, I find it pretty ironic that bugs can... Yeah, and there we go. There, we have nothing. So we're not going to concede because that's just not how we do things at UK Mon. We're just going to let our opponent take the win. Just hammer down. And there we go. So, unfortunately, we, we lost that one quite badly. But, you know, it was actually... You know, it was pretty decent. Um, you know, I, ha I had fun doing it and I hope you guys had fun watching it. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and a comment in down below. Links to all the social media stuff is in the description below. Once again, I have been Kira from UK Mon, and I will see you guys next time.